You may be wondering about the procedure the First Lady had called embolization. Embolization is a general term and it's used for cutting off the blood supply, either a bleeding artery to stop it from bleeding, or for cutting off the blood supply that feeds a tumor to kill the tumor. Um, it can be done in either benign tumors. I do fibroid embolization, which is a common uh, embolization procedure that kills fibroids in the uterus. In this instance, it's being done to knock out a tumor in the kidney. A benign tumor, probably an angiomyolipoma, although it has not been stated exactly what type of benign condition the First Lady has, but a very likely scenario is that it's an angiomyolipoma, which is a benign tumor which is commonly embolized, and it can be discovered either by accident on imaging for a completely unrelated uh, symptom or picked up incidentally, or the First Lady may have had some symptoms. The most common symptoms of an angiomyolipoma are flank pain, feeling pain on the kidney where the tumor is, or maybe blood in the urine. But whether it's picked up incidentally by accident, or if the patient is having symptoms, these angiomyolipomas need to be treated, and embolization is the best way to treat them because it can knock out the tumor from the inside and spare the patient from having any surgery whatsoever. The embolization procedure is performed as an outpatient. The catheter is placed inside the body, either at where you can feel your pulse at the top of the left wrist or at the top of the right leg. It's a way to gain entry into the body. And we guide a little tiny catheter under x-ray guidance into the kidney artery itself and then map out the blood supply to see where the branches are that are feeding this tumor of the kidney. We know what size those branches are and we can inject these particles to cut the blood supply off to the tumor. And without a blood supply, the tumor will die. And over time, the tumor will shrink um, and that will take care of the tumor once and for all. On unusual circumstances, it can recur and it can find blood supply from other branches and so she will be monitored to make sure there's no recurrence but the vast majority of people that are embolized for an angiomyolipoma do very very well um, it may require imaging and monitoring over time but the vast majority of people do great and it's really important to embolize these angiomyolipomas even in patients that are not having any symptoms because of their propensity to bleed. And if they do start bleeding, it can be life-threatening. The larger the angiomyolipoma is, the more likely it can bleed. And so you want to embolize those patients before that happens.